Hi, my name is Pilu from Salty Water Yoga and today I bring you five things to help you start with your aerial yoga journey. The first one is avoiding to get the hand straps when we do upside down. The second one is to avoid to have the swing sliding up or down when we go into an upside down. The third one is to help with the squeezing sometimes on certain poses that we can feel with the, with the swing. Fourth, it's to help you to finish your practice, relax and develop more bicep strength instead of collapsing and contracting the shoulders. And the fifth one is how to do a healthy back bend. So let's get started. The first one, how to avoid to get your hands trapped when we do an upside down. Bring your feet together and lift your heels up. Hands wider than hip distance apart, place the swing below the sacrum and press the swing against your body and then wrap it around so you can see already my thumbs are in front. Make sure you can see your thumbs in front and your hands are free here, they're not touching your hips. Go into your backward entry and you can see already that my hands are free to move. Keep going and then you can release it. How to avoid the sliding when we go into a pose, especially in upside down. Place your feet together, heels up. Same as before, bring the swing against your body and feel some tension there. Keep the hands where they are, bring the weight on the swing and stay with your hands where they are until your feet are out of the floor. Once the weight is on the swing, then you can move your hands and it will be okay. How to avoid contracting the shoulders and the trapeze when we are doing aerial yoga. Bring the hands in front of your eyes. Keep the shoulders aligned with your elbows, same as your hands. So that will allow you to bring the shoulders down and back. From here, for example, if we go into a warrior, we keep this posture and if we need to lift ourselves up, we will pull with the hands using the tricep also. Another situation, when we are down on the floor and we want to lift ourselves up, I'm going to do the same. I'm starting with the elbows aligned with my shoulders, hands aligned with my elbows, and I pull myself up from here instead of having the elbows up like flying. That will help you to develop more bicep strength for advanced poses. How to perform a safe back bend. This can be an advanced practice, so please take your time until you arrive to this level. Bringing the feet together, placing the swing at the sacrum in a stable place to have the support of the swing to open the chest. Slowly and with your core activated, come into the swing. Keep your knees bent, toes pointing down. Bring your hands a little bit higher and strengthen your core. We start to go back, sliding down the hands, then squeeze the scapulas in and open the chest. Keep drawing your navel in to stay as stable as you can on the lower back area and opening the chest. You can use your hands for support. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comments. And subscribe to my channel for more free material on aerial yoga. Namaste.